Hey Internet, my name's Chris and I want to welcome you to Faith Elements and we're going to talk this morning about how this thing caused this. Welcome to Faith Elements. So I'm out for a morning bike ride, but right before I went on my bike ride I started the first leg of my little morning triathlon and instead of the swimming portion I take the dog out on the longboard. That's one of the fun things we like to do. One thing about longboarding I learned early on is that you really have to pay attention to what's going on. You have to pay attention to your surroundings, you have to pay attention to the road in front of you. And I, early on, I adopted the policy of always wearing a helmet, and I wear elbow pads, knee pads. It may look goofy as all get out, kind of like this bike helmet, but it keeps you safe from things. So earlier this morning, I got distracted by a couple other dogs that were along the road that my dog got distracted by, and I was looking at him, and I missed this guy. You know what this guy does? He grabs your front wheel and he throws you for a nice little roll down the road. Yes, that's what happened this morning. The only thing that came out of it was my little hand wound there. But it is an important lesson in one, paying attention to what's going on around you. But the other important lesson is what's found in Ephesians 6 where it says to put on the full armor of God. Why does the Bible say something about putting on armor, you know, to protect ourselves? Well, the thing is, life's a little bit of a battle. And the closer you get to the front lines and being effective in battle, the more likely you are to get hurt. And when Ephesians tells us to put on the full armor, it's telling us to protect ourselves. It's telling us to arm ourselves, not with armor like we're thinking of, but the kind of guard, armor that guards our spirit. So this morning, I was reminded of why I wear elbow pads and knee pads and a helmet when I go longboarding because, you know, you put a piece of wood with wheels under your feet, at some point you're probably going to hit the ground. It's just something that's going to happen. And so we have to protect ourselves when we are doing those things that could bring us closer and closer to danger. And that's the lesson for this morning. As I was riding my bike, I really got to thinking about the importance of protecting ourselves, not physically, but spiritually, and putting on that full armor and knowing we can go straight into battle. And yeah, we might get some bumps and bruises along the way, and we might even spill some blood every once in a while. But the important thing is, is that we get back up. I got back up and got on my board and finished the ride this morning. I could spend a little bit of time blaming this pine cone. You know, I could get really angry at this guy. Well, really, he's the one that deserves to be angry to me. He's just out there selling himself on the pavement here. I come along crumpling over top of it. I could spend all morning blaming this guy for this thing on my hand. Just like in life, we can spend time blaming people for when we get distracted or when we get sidelined or when we get hurt. Here's the important thing. We move on and we get rid of those things that have hurt us in the past and we don't think about them anymore because we have protected ourselves for the most part from any kind of injury, long-term injury that keeps us from going anywhere. I hope you're having a blessed morning or day or night or whenever you're watching this, and I hope you'll take a few moments just to pray about that. That's something worth praying about, don't you think? Thanks for watching. Have a great day.